Hi, I'm Glenn Vella from Malta. Check out my interview. Um, you've been to Eurovision in 2011. What's the impact Eurovision made on you? Oh. Eurovision for me, it, it was an experience which I will treasure throughout my life. Mm -hmm. so, I met a lot of people, mm -hmm. I met you, I met a lot of people like you, which after six years I'm still doing concerts as regards to Eurovision. So, it's, it's here. Something in your heart, right. Yes. Okay, what about your impact to Eurovision? What would that be? Ah, yeah. Eurovision, um, I, I'm, I'm going to be very honest. I used to watch Eurovision. I still watch Eurovision every year. Mm -hmm. But I used to be more involved, like, to see all the countries, what the, the submissions and who's going to represent the country. But nowadays, nowadays, since there's a lot of countries, it's so hard to go into every country and see the preparation of, of how they choose a singer. But I was, I used to be like that before. Um, so I was more into into it, mm -hmm. you know. Nowadays, I, I still watch the Eurovision itself during those, those two weeks. And during the multi-selection, mm -hmm. during that time, I will be like, very focused Focus, on that, yes. even when I'm not participating or not having or not coaching or mentoring somebody, I still go into it very mm -hmm. Okay, I know Glenn Vella as a pop singer, a pop star in Malta. Okay, perfect. But who is Glenn Vella in the everyday life? Who is actually Glenn? What's your okay. everyday life? Yes, my everyday life, I'm a full-time musician. Mm -hmm. um, I coach mm -hmm. vocals. Um, my job is also as a singer with my band and gigging there and then in Malta. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I also gig ab abroad. Um, you do a lot of things in Sweden, right? In Sweden, yes. Mm -hmm. I go like... Which is a difficult market. Times. Yes, yes. Um, every year. It's my job, basically. Mm -hmm. um, I call it a job, but it's my passion, it's my life. So I'm doing what I, what I love best, basically. Do you see music as a job or as a hobby or as a way of life? It. It's my job. Nowadays, mm -hmm. it's my job. But the job, it's like, you know, it sounds, you mm -hmm. know, because I love to do it. I'm How did you start it. singing? How did oh, it was the back. It was back to toes. I don't know, the year when I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. What happened back so, then? So, actually it started. I used to also always sing at school, you know, mm -hmm. and I used to sing at home. And I remember very clearly, um, our neighbor used to tell my mom, take Glenn to singing lessons, because I'm hearing all the time singing, and I think he's very good. Take him to singing lessons. And my mom, uh, my mom, she was not like that person. Like, okay, let, go to lesson. She, she, they never, they never pushed me to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. And one day I decided, like, and she used to tell me, my mom, would you like to go? I'll take you to singing lesson. And then I used to say no. Sometimes yes, no, yes. And at the age of 13, I decided, like, let's go and have a try. You know? And I started basically. It started from that. I, I remember with the cassettes, mm -hmm. you know, singing songs and rewinding and try to remember the lyrics, mm -hmm. hearing the singer and try to to join down the lyrics. We, we, we didn't used to have the internet, yes. so can, so it started from there. And year by year by year by year, did the examinations of the of the, of the, of the pop vocals. So and here I am, and I have a lot of things to do. I'm not ready yet. You can't stop. In music, you can't stop. You, you, you always learn, on, yes. Update yourself. Although I, I'm coaching, so that takes me um, a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So I have to keep on studying and on new techniques. You know, so, but I love it. I love it. What are your passions? Apart from singing, yes. because singing is my passion. Singing I understand. Um, but apart from singing, I love to travel a lot. Mm -hmm. I love and, and I like to travel. Your Even first trip holiday. abroad, Malta? Sorry? The, your first trip away from Malta? I don't remember. Oh, you're not that old, come on. I don't remember. Uh, I think Sicily. 
Sicily. Sicily went mm -hmm. to my schoolmates. Mm -hmm. The first trip. Back it was like 14, something like that. I think that was was the first trip. But I went to different countries. In, in, in Europe especially. Mm -hmm. I've been to Canada. Mm -hmm. I've been to Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. So I've been there too. I like to travel. Because when I travel it's the it's the time when I can relax. I can't relax at home. Mm -hmm. Fortunately enough, there are people <laughs> that can like say like, today I'm free, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not able to do that anymore. Yeah. Sometimes I do it, and then after an hour, I start thinking, I have that, thi that thing to do, that thing to do, and I don't relax. Okay, do you remember? So I, I'll ah. go abroad, and this is the time I right. this. Okay, do you remember that Ukraine won with the song 1944 in uh, last year? Yes. What's what's the year that made an impact on you? What's the key year for you? Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Music-wise, oh, I think when I won in Malta for mm -hmm. Eurovision, it was something that it made an impact on me. Because mm -hmm. you know? the preparation and, and everything, but like another page in my life, you mm -hmm. know. I had to grow up immediately yeah. because some things were like so organized professionally. Mm -hmm. I was like certain things I had to do them, and you have to be very quick in certain decisions, and you have to take the, the right decisions. Mm -hmm. So I think that was a very an impact in my life for sure. And um, what about your future plans? What should we expect from Glenn? Let me be honest. I don't plan a lot. Okay, you short term kind of plans. I don't, I don't go into long term. Mm -hmm. I go into short plans. Mm -hmm. Like for example, for instance, I just last year I started my. It was one of my plans that I started uh, my life as a full time musician. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was a dream. I was working for it, mm -hmm. and now I'm living it. So when I'm, I'm still in that phase of kind of transition. Mm -hmm. Okay, a year passed, but still in that year of transition of found, finding the ground, you know what I mean? How do you imagine yourself in 10 years? Oh, I hope I still look good. <laughs> like me, ah, right? Yes. Perfect. Um, in 10 years time, obviously, um, I think in 10 years time, maybe I will try my luck again for, for your vision. Nice. In ten years, obviously, I have. To, I, I need to have the right song, obviously, um, because I, I consider that from year to year. But mm -hmm. I never received the, the right song to, to, mm -hmm. to do it again. Um, so hopefully, in ten years' time, I will try my luck again. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see like big things going on. Like, I'm not that kind of person. Like. We'll see it. I prefer to, to have it year by year sometimes. And we'll see what, what it comes. I have things in my mind that, mm -hmm. that I have to work with my with my students back in mm -hmm. back in Malta and some concerts I have in mind that it has to be done. But they are always here, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and you're working developed. on them, yes. Okay, I've been four times in Malta but a lot of people haven't been in Malta yet. Now, why should someone travel to Malta? Oh, I love my country, so um, I don't want to sound biased, you know, but it's a nice country to visit. Mm -hmm. it's most of the time... What is nice in Malta? First of all, it's traveling-wise. I start from that. I'm, I'm a person that I want to go somewhere where I can... Although I relax, I'll try to see a lot of things mm -hmm. at the same time. You know, and Malta. Traveling in Malta, you can in one day you can do a lot of things. That's true. You can be at the beach, you can go in a good restaurant, you can travel 30 minutes, and you'll be doing somewhere else, doing seeing historical places. You can drive another 30 minutes, and you'll be horse riding or doing paragliding or something. You know, mm -hmm. it's. Everything is nearby. You now we can be at the sea, we can be in green areas. So 
the or in a, in a magical castle. Exactly. So it's like a small country, but you can see a lot of things, you know. That's true. And you can entertain yourself quite easily. What's the first thing what I have food, to taste? By the way, what's the first thing I have to taste in Malta? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If you had to, although they are quite fattening, what do you call? What do you say? Arabali. Arabali, yeah, like Arabali. Arabali. Mm -hmm. um, and there's these cheesecake, which are very traditional, but they're very like, super know. calories. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, it's something like traditional. Mm -hmm. no, but there's a lot of food too. too. Mm -hmm. And good, good restaurants. Yes, that's true. Glenn, thank you so much for this. We hope to Welcome. see you again in any uh, event or uh, Eurovision. Why not? I always look forward to meeting you guys. Honestly, I always look forward. Thank you so much for this. Cheers.